Most of the country has recovered from the housing crisis, but there are still plenty of homes that are underwater, especially in Chicago. Explain, please, Jeff, Clock, who is there, and give us the latest. You always like to tell the good news about Chicago, I know, Stuart, but sadly, this is not good news today. 200 and uh, I stand in front of actually one of more than a quarter million homes that are underwater. You explain what that means, uh, and that's not good news. The, the good news is most of the rest of the country, as you report, has recovered. This particularly, not so much. Take a look at the numbers compared to other uh, big metropolitan areas. 254,000 homes underwater in Chicago compared to only 74,000 in, in uh, Los Angeles, 20,000 in San Francisco. We didn't put uh, New York on the list, but New York's 195,000, which is still uh, less than Chicago despite having much more population. Uh, here's worse news. 20% of those people, of those quarter million people that are underwater, 20% of them owe twice what the value of the home is. This home here is worth $229,000, at least that's what it's on the market for right now in a short sale. 20% of people owe twice what it's worth, uh, and they'll never get out from under. So not particularly good news. I would point this out, though, and I told you something last week that I think you were incredulous about. That is to say, it's not the rich people leaving Chicago. It's actually poor people leaving the city. Uh, and that's true here as well. Mostly lower uh, value homes are the ones that are underwater. Sort of hard oh. to believe that, but that's that's the case. That's uh, fast, interesting. Yeah. It, it very interesting and very troubling for Chicago. That's a fact. Jeff Flock, right in the middle of it, it as is. usual. Thank you very much, Jeff. Okay.